kind of fun, Carlene, when we step outside for our dinner break at 7 o'clock. Yes. The sun's still high. Took a picture of uh, the sunset yesterday. It was still pretty <laughs> high in the air, so let's enjoy that sunshine. Yeah, we are talking about an 8 p.m. sunset for tonight, and those added, added alto cumulus clouds will make it absolutely beautiful. So we are seeing those stream in from our Mount Soledad cam and looking out towards the coast is looking pretty good today. It's not a bad way to kick off the season. We're feeling the heat, especially with some daytime highs that were in the 70s along the coast. That's warmer than usual and also talking about having those 90s widespread across inland valleys. 71 degrees current temperature for downtown. We are seeing the added cloud cover that's going to stick around at least going into tomorrow. Also talking about an uptick when it comes to dew points, not just for the coast, but also across Across the county and that's because we are talking about that monsoonal moisture that's going to start to move in already starting to see signs of it and then as we go into after uh, midnight that's when we're going to have more of an influx and that's going to lead to our chances for some thunderstorm activity cannot entirely rule it out so taking a look at the current map when it does come to those dew point temperatures you're seeing a lot of them above 50 degrees and that's going to continue to rise and even stretching in towards the desert as we go into tomorrow's forecast it's all because of an area of low pressure that is near nearby tapping into that moisture, drawing it in across our region. It's going to start to move in. You're seeing seeing it more across Mexico as well as New Mexico and Arizona, but it's going to start to move in as we go into tomorrow. So after midnight, seeing more of an influx, and that's going to stick around through tomorrow morning, leading to the chances we could see some isolated thunderstorms with this area of low pressure nearby and then really favoring the mountains as well as the desert by tomorrow afternoon. So I want to go ahead and set the clock in motion. You are seeing that influx once we get past midnight into early morning hours. So mainly when we're trying to sleep, Mother Nature out there with some rumbles in the sky. So around four in the morning, we are looking at some uh, scattered shower activity, also a few isolated thunderstorms being possible, even right along the coast, seeing that for Oceanside and then trickling in towards Del Mar, also seeing that across inland regions like Ramona, stretching all the way into the mountains as well as the desert. By the afternoon hours, they look to clear out west of the mountains, but we will we'll continue to favor the mountains as well as the desert. So your eight day microclimate forecast has the heat still sticking around. Those chances really for the mountains and desert next couple of days, then we dry out by the weekend, but hey, you can see the heat's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and take a look at your weather quiz question for tonight. I told you, brush up in your hurricane knowledge. Marcel hmm. ECD. Mm -hmm. Which two hurricanes <laughs> struck the North Carolina coast five days apart in 1955? Was it A, Hurricane Ashley and Barbara, B, Hurricane Connie and Diane, C, Hurricane Diane and Earl, or D, my favorite, mm -hmm. Hurricane Carlene and Marcella. Yes, <laughs> in spirit back in 1955. Exactly. Okay, so they're it's, not alphabetical. We're just giving our viewers a little hint. Well, D is not alphabetical. Yeah. Right, exactly. So don't <coughs> not choose even D. Close. Don't yeah. choose D. You, you want to give any more? I was, I was, hope, I was hoping you were going to give them more, like, break up the alphabetical order on them a little don't bit more. Mean, no, this is actually the tricky one. You are, yeah, no, you're. Don't you, they alternate you're, between female and male names? You, mm -hmm. you, you yeah. think? Yeah, maybe yeah. good. All right, just head to our <laughs> website, cbs8.com slash weatherquiz to make your guess. You could win one of four family four packs of tickets for a day of unlimited fun at Belmont Park. This is San Diego's only beachfront amusement park. This prize is sponsored by Corky's Pest Control. You get your new weather quiz question every Monday through Friday during this newscast and our 7 a.m. So good luck. Thanks, Carlene.